Sasageo, Sasageo, Shinzo was a Sasageo. Sasageo, Sasa. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Senreb Bartholomew the Third, and I am back with another episode, guys, of Snow Review. <laughs> The show where I watch anime, give my thoughts and opinions on it, and you guys watch it. Wow. Crazy. Attack on Titan. Season 2 and 3 part 1. Bro, So much just happened. Okay? In the span of what I- just after I freaking got season 1, or I got season 1 video out, okay? So, I just want to say real quick. Season two and three, mwah. Just mwah. The holy, this just expanded on everything. And it just blew everything that season one built up in. It just blew it out of the way. Just, it's gone. Holy crap. So, you know how I was saying in episode, and, and season one, right? The Armor Titan and the Colossal Titan, those had to be um, people since uh, the way they transform is similar to the way Eren is, they are freaking Reiner and um, Bartold. I think that's how you say their names. They're the, the Colossal and Armor Titan. They literally, oh my God. Season two really showed us a little bit about um, into, I guess the, I guess the mind. Like, I, I guess it was a little bit of a backstory uh, into the Titans cause um, geez, so much happens here. We learn Yarmir is a titan as well. She can transform. Um, Krista, uh, is actually, this is in season three, Krista is actually royal. Like, she has, she is the, supposed to be the true heir. Um, she's supposed to be the queen of freaking the, the city and whatnot. I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to begin with how much just happened. We, we learned a basis here, though, okay? We learned um, something that's president. So, Titans are humans, okay? I don't, we don't know, I don't, for right now, I don't at least. But I don't think we know where this, um, I think it's, I think they say it's a, it's a spinal fluid that um, transforms humans into these Titans. And when you're in this titan form you're like in a stuck in an ever never ending nightmare and it, it's painful and the only way for a titan to transform back into a human is if they eat someone who was a titan that transformed into a human so that says it the president all up and uh shoot uh we learned so much um, Baruto, uh, uh, mentions, um, I thought Annie and whatnot was betraying us, but, um, they, they were forced against their, their will. So, we saw with, um, Yarmir's backstory, she didn't want to be a Titan. She got forced, uh, injected with it, and she was forced to be in Titan. She didn't want to kill, um, Reiner's and Boto's friend, right? But she wasn't conscious about it, and she didn't know. So, when she did that... Uh, she didn't have, um, she wasn't, she wasn't there. We learn a lot that, um, Titans, right? They're, they're humans. And this whole time, we thought it was, like, uh, punishment for some, and that's, that's what everyone thought. It was, like, punishment from the gods, but that means that there's someone behind this, and we actually see who this is. Um, I believe it's Erwin's father, Okay. Just by the flashbacks we got of Erwin when he was a child talking to his dad, the story he told, and what we're seeing so far, the 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 um, image we got at the end of season two and what we got of season three part um, part one, like it has to be Erwin's dad. Like it's so crazy. Oh, if you want to talk about crazy, this made my head hurt. Okay, from how much information was coming in. So. Krista, or I guess Historia, is part of the Rias family, which was the original, hair, like, um, royal family. They have an ability to manipulate people's memories and uh, suppress them. So, because of them, uh, the first king, like, mass wiped everyone's memories and started this whole Titan 
thing going on. And Aaron's power, we learn, Aaron has the power to control titans. Um, he was confronted with the same titan that killed his mother. Uh, he went to punch the titan like uh, he was trying to defend Misaka. And freaking all the titans swarmed that individual one and murdered it. And Aaron just had the... That's when Aaron realized he had the ability to control him. And in accordance to being one himself. Um, and then we even learn how this happens. So Aaron's father freaking was trying to wipe out the Rias bloodline because he found out how they manipulated history and manipulated everyone into this false sense of reality. And the way that the Rias family, when the way they first described it to Historia, is that Aaron's father brutally murdered his si her sister and their family and the only way to get this power back is if Historia turns into a titan and eats Eren so she has the power to control titans. Eventually, Historia realizes how screwed up his father is and she wants to live her own life, reminiscing on uh, Yermia and how she helped inspired her live the life that she wants. So, um, y Yermia, oh, not Yermia, um, Historia gets rid of, she was about to be injected by her dad to turn into a titan, she gets rid of that and saves Aaron, um, and then her dad goes freaking berserk, dude, he, um, in a self of self-pity, turns himself into a new colossal titan, like, it's probably the biggest titan we've seen at this rate, um, it was humongous, so everyone retreats to where the titan is going, um, I don't remember the name of the city, but everyone retreats there and they eventually defeat the Colossal Titan um, with the help of Eren in his form. And Historia is able to then hit the final blow on her dad, ending the reign that they have. But actually, Historia is said that she, um, they want her to be the rightful heir to the kingdom. So she um, is pronounced queen over the kingdom, but it's been implied that it's under her own will. Like, if she's not wanting to do it because, um, it's because she's, because it's part of her bloodline or anything, it's because she wants to help make the world a better place. And it's, okay, this was a really cute scene, and I, I ship it, but I don't, but not as much as, um, the other ones. So, um, Historia and Eren, um, are talking, um, there's like a scene where, um, they're out in the field, um, moving stuff. They're having a conversation, Historia and Aaron, and um, it just—it's just building that they're—they're they're, like they—they—they they, they understand each other, and they—I um, wouldn't say like each other, but they um, fundamentally they understand where each one's coming, and they've been in the same place. And Misaka, <laughs> Misaka, freaking walks up on them and is giving Historia the freaking dead eye. Like, she's looking d into her soul. Misaka is jealous, okay? I, 100% for a fact, Misaka loves Eren. And it's been joked about by Levi. Oh, and this is where we officially learn, uh, freaking Levi is an Ackerman. Uh, I said that first episode because I've just known it from, um, just hearing it every now and then. But we learn more about the Ackerman family, um, and then also about Eren's family. Anyway, um, Historia becomes queen of the kingdom, uh, and she's um, trying to help the Survey Corp um, reclaim the wall. Wall Maria, I believe. So, once we claim Wall Maria, we will be able to learn the secrets that Aaron's father left in his basement. And with that knowledge, we can fight back who ever it is is trying to cause this hell for humanity and wipe it i'm in love with this series um i think this is amazing that like this when i first go got into this i didn't know what to expect okay and the freaking main cast of characters i love them so much sasha best girl i love sasha uh hanji zoe hanji is still my waifu editor just Play the clip of her saying Baka, okay? You you know the clip I'm talking about. Amiro! Baka! 
I'm telling you that that Oh my heart. She is really cool. Um yeah. I I think that's all I'm I have to say right now for season season two and three part one. So I'm almost caught up to season four right now. Um I just need to finish up part two, season three, and then um catch up to uh, season four and I should be I should be caught up with Attack on Titan, and then we can start the next anime I ruled. I, wow, this is awesome, guys. I, I am so thankful. See, this is see this is a little bit of why I want to do this series. I realize me like not having these scripted videos, the time on these are probably going to be a lot shorter uh, than before, like the first episodes. Um, and you know what? I think that's all right because I think these are more bite size, and if I have to go into extreme detail and talk about things, I will. But I just want to like give up my straight thoughts on things, and I like to be real with it. So, um, yeah, my mind's my mind's blown, and I'm so invested right now. I wanna I wanna know right now if we're gonna claim Wall Maria uh, or Wall of the Rose. I don't remember which one it is. But, uh, and my editor can correct me, um, if I'm being stupid, but, um, she's amazing. But anyway, yeah, I just want to know. I just want to, I just want to see it happen. I'm so excited to be caught up soon. And this show still has not got me the cry, but I have a feeling, uh, something's going to happen soon that will make me cry. Um, cause I, I'm invested. Like this is to me like one piece type investment I had. I the first time I cried to one piece I think was in Annie's lobby when Robin was proclaiming she wants to live and she wants to journey with the star. I was just thinking about it right now it's going to make me tear up cuz it was such an impactful scene. And of course that took um 200 about 200 episodes to or two, 200 300 around there it took a while to get the Ennies lobby but i was so invested in the characters and um it's crazy how like close we're getting to these characters in just four seasons like armin armin migasa and Aaron. i love them to death okay i think armin best boy dude freaking i want to actually be friends with armin like i'm not even capping there uh migasa Best girl. She's simping a little bit for Aaron. I can tell, but it's all right. It's all right. And then poor Aaron, dude. Um, dude just has the weight, the sh the weight of the world on his shoulders at this point. Uh, it feels like, but um, he just struggles with trying to feeling like he's like no one special, but at the same time, he's trying to make an impact. It's 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 phenomenal storytelling, and I don't want to ramble on about it, but I'm just I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to know more, and I um. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get start going right now and finish it up um, after this video, after I'm done recording this. So, yeah, that was Attack on Titan season two and three point uh, three part one. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to like or dislike. Either one helps me grow as a content creator. Um, and before I sign off, I'm gonna say this: I might be putting out my personal anime tier list um i might be i might be working on something like that so if you're interested in that video um be sure to subscribe and um that'll be coming out hopefully very soon all right with that being said i'll see you guys next time stay sexy